Energy drinks have been around since the 1940s. In recent years, they have become all the buzz, especially with young people. But studies may show they might not be too popular with our hearts. Do energy drinks cause heart issues? Good question. Kirsten Mitchell found out who may want to stay clear. What do you got there today? Oh, it's a mocha frappuccino. Caffeine and college students. Drink more monsters than like coffee and stuff. It's almost a prerequisite to get through the day. During the semester, it's definitely a lot more frequent. I definitely drink a lot of coffee. And then when it gets real bad, I drink uh, some monsters. Energy drinks are all the buzz these days. So you're 17 years old. Yes. How often do you drink energy drinks? I would say maybe once a week. Trying to cut down a little bit though. But studies have raised concerns. New research shows the drinks may have side effects. Could cause heart problems and anxiety. It's not a huge risk, but it's enough of a risk where the upside just isn't there regarding health benefits of the energy drinks in the first place. Dr. Michael Ackerman is a genetic cardiologist at Mayo Clinic and has studied this himself. What exactly is in energy drinks that's not in your average cup of joe? I think it's the fact that it's caffeine and higher levels. Most energy drinks have around 200 milligrams of caffeine, the equivalent of two cups of coffee, but many also contain a dozen or more other ingredients, including sweeteners, B vitamins, taurine, and other herbal extracts. Does the heart see, feel, react to these chemicals, it does. A lot of levels of caffeine combined with those other chemicals in the wrong heart is probably not a very good combination. Dr. Ackerman says certain people should avoid them. Anybody with hypertension, with cardiovascular heart disease, coronary artery disease, and anybody especially with genetic heart disease that makes them intrinsically more vulnerable to sudden cardiac electrical death. How often should we be consuming energy drinks and how much is too much? In a healthy person like you and me, we could handle an energy drink no problem. For my patients with sudden death genetic heart disease, their energy drink consumption needs to be zero. And for young people? They should be drinking much less. There's just not a ton of upside. I know that it's not the best thing for you. Dr. Ackerman says it's important to talk with your doctor about your energy drink consumption. Sometimes like I feel like my heart like actually like pumping like I and listen like, to your body wrong and I'm like, OK, I'm going to shut this down, maybe throw it away. With photojournalist Jose Pasquale, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO News. The FDA says that healthy adults can consume about 400 milligrams of caffeine a day without experiencing negative effects. That would be equal to about four to five cups of coffee. And Dr. Ackerman cautions that still may be too much for some.